If there's one thing that I've learned while I've been here in Europe, it's that there are so many amazing destinations and stories here. It would literally take you a lifetime to experience them all. So when you're here on holidays, you've only got a bit of time, you want all the good stuff served up on a silver platter. I'm over here in Europe with Scenic, getting to know the locals and discovering some of the little gems. So, we begin in Amsterdam, as my local guide Esther gives me the city in a nutshell. Of course, Amsterdam is known for its uh, coffee shops, but <laughs> there is so much more here in Amsterdam. Uh, we've got, of course, our city centre, which is awesome, but also the canals. We've got heaps of canals, yeah. and you can go on a canal boat to see Amsterdam by water. Uh -huh. Isn't that great? Yeah. And of course, we can, um, can taste our cheese. And uh, you can see the windmills along the River San, which is beautiful. I love it. I love to live here because it's, it's, I, I, I have my bicycle, I cycle around. It's so cosmopolitan. People are so friendly. Yeah. That's why I love Amsterdam. You make a lot of friends in Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of Scenic's most popular destinations was also home to the movie masterpiece, The Sound of Music. Yeah. Eva Salzburg is just unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's <laughs> terrific. The whole world wants to come and see Salzburg, especially because of the sound of music with all the beautiful sites still existing today. For example, the Mirabel Garden, where they sang Do Re Mi. It is literally like the movie set, isn't it? Of course, it sets you back in time. The time when the Trapp family really was here in Salzburg. A trip to Europe, though, wouldn't be complete without visiting the most beautiful city in the world, Vienna. I would say Vienna is about music. We had all the great stars here. We had Beethoven here, Strauss lived here, Mozart. Mozart got married here in Vienna, in St. Stephen's Cathedral. Now, why did they actually live here? Why did they choose Vienna? It was the ruling family. They wanted to have them here. The Habsburgs wanted to have the stars here. Yeah, and look around. That's the palace where the Habsburgs lived. A huge building. In one of the wings here, we have the Spanish Riding School. They have the summer palaces as well. Schönbrunn was the imperial summer residence. But we also had private summer residences. Belvedere Palace. Yeah, and the amazing Liechtenstein Palace. <laughs> Well, this is the magic of traveling through Europe. You get to experience all these beautiful places. And tonight, we have an exclusive performance at the famous Halle Lichtenstein here in Vienna. Not a bad way to end the day.